Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'm answering a question that was sent to me by Steve Nielsen. The question is, what psychometric assessment has Fabio me found, if any, to be helpful in uncovering a leader's strengths and weaknesses? Hmm? What psychometric assessment has Fabio found, if any, to be helpful in uncovering a leader's strengths and weaknesses. Steve Newson sent that question. Well, in my opinion, there are several assessment tools you can use in the market and they're getting better and better. I don't receive any commission for referring you to those assessment tools. So I'm gonna just share with you the ones that I found most interesting, okay? So far working with my clients, with my multinational clients, many of them use those those tools, right? One thing that I like, one assessment tool that I like is the Insights Discovery Assessment Tool, right? The Insights Discovery Assessment Tools. It's based on Carl Jung and adapted to the modern modern world and, uh, and it identifies our styles, our personality styles and how we behave in certain situations and it shows us that you have strengths and weaknesses in every quality you have, in every characteristic you have as a leader or as a person, you have the positive force and the negative side of the force and gives you a very uh, nice understanding and deep understanding uh, about how you behave the way you behave in certain situations. So I like this assessment tool, Insights Discovery assessment, all right? The other one I like is the Hogan. Hogan assessment is also very good to identify your strengths and weaknesses and your areas of development as well. The DISC assessment tool is also very interesting. DISC stands for Dominant Influence Steadiness or Consciousness, right? And so it helps you see four main styles of behavior you have when dealing with other people. And that will help you see where you can adapt a little bit or enhance so you can be a better communicator, a better negotiator. So these are the, the main elements I have found very useful. So insights discovery assessment, Hogan assessment, and DISC assessment. Okay, and another one, well, some people use MBTI. I like it, but I, I don't use it very often, so I cannot really say much about it. And one thing that I, I, I got in contact with that I liked, and I think is very interesting, is, is a software called Human Intelligence. Human Intelligence. And because it's very simple and it rapidly shows you how you would interact with other team members. So if you run this with your entire team members, you can have a very nice understanding what is the dynamic in that team and why they work or not together. So that's another tip, all right? So this is my answer to this question from Steve Nielsen. I'm Fabio Marquez and I wish you health and wealth always. See you next time.